For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. Well, farmers are heading to the field again, this time with machinery used to control weeds. The post-emergence herbicide labels they'll be following usually allow applications to be made at various growth stages, says University of Illinois Extension weed scientist Aaron Hager. Hager says it's really important to read the label and make sure you get the height or the stage, maybe both, of the crop correct. Well, this is because most all of the products for corn have a growth stage listed on the label, beyond which applications, at least broadcast applications, should not be made. It's usually either plant height, measured at the highest arch of the uppermost leaf at least 50% out of the world, or a leaf number. Hager says if both are listed, then it's important to use the most restrictive of the two. For example, some of the uh, weather conditions that we've had across a pretty large part of the state this year, we may have corn plants that typically are older than what their height would suggest that they are. Now, by counting the leaf collars or the, the leaf collar method, that's typically a better measurement of actually to, to accurately stage the development of the corn plant, and typically that's a better uh, way to follow in terms of the label statements if you can either do the counting of the leaf collars or the height Usually the leaf collar method is going to be a better determinant of the actual stage of that corn plant Well corn plants under stress conditions may be more prone to injury from post-emergence herbicides well, On that note Hager says farmers should be sure to consult the product label when selecting spray additives Many labels suggest changing from one type of additive to another when the corn crop is stressed also, trying to save a trip across the field by applying a post-emergence corn herbicide with liquid nitrogen as the carrier, that's not advisable. The OBI weed scientist says while applying high rates of UAN by itself can cause corn injury, adding a post-emergence herbicide can make it worse. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.